Hello everyone! Ever wish you could organize your Spark data into neat, efficient buckets, ready for lightning-fast queries and analysis? Let's dive into the thrilling world of bucketing and Spark. Bucketing is a technique used to partition data into predefined, evenly distributed buckets based on specific column values, facilitating efficient querying and processing. To bucket data in Spark, you specify the desired number of buckets in one or more columns to use for partitioning. Spark then distributes the data into the specified number of buckets based on the hash value of the partitioning column. This ensures that similar values are grouped together, optimizing data retrieval and processing. Consider a table with columns ID, name and company. The table contains five rows. Suppose we want to bucket the data based on the company column into three buckets. Spark internally applies a hash function to the specified column, company in this case. The hash function computes a hash value for each unique value in the column. The hash values are used to distribute rows into buckets. Spark creates three buckets to hold the data. Each bucket corresponds to a hash value range. Spark distributes the rows into the buckets according to their assigned bucket numbers. Spark saves the data as a bucket table, organizing the rows into separate files or partitions based on the buckets. The data within each bucket is stored in a separate directory or file. The output table represents the bucket data. Each bucket contains a subset of rows based on the hash values of the company column. Bucketing helps in organizing and partitioning data for efficient querying and processing, especially in scenarios involving joins and aggregations. When to use bucketing in Spark, frequent joins or filters. Bucketing is beneficial for frequent join or filter operations on specific columns. Organizes data into predefined buckets based on these columns. Significantly improves query performance by reducing the amount of data scanned. Optimizing storage. Bucketing is useful for optimizing data storage and retrieval efficiency. Partitions data into evenly distributed buckets. Minimizes storage overhead and improves data access patterns. Particularly beneficial for large data sets. When not to use bucketing in Spark. Infrequent queries or small data sets. Rarely performing join or filter queries on specific columns. Dataset is small and fits comfortably in memory. Overhead of implementing bucketing may outweigh the benefits. Simpler storage and querying mechanisms may suffice. Dynamic or unpredictable data patterns. Data exhibits dynamic or unpredictable patterns in column values. Bucketing may not be suitable in these cases. Requires careful consideration of data distribution to ensure even bucket sizes. Challenging in scenarios where data characteristics change frequently. Overall, bucketing in Spark is a powerful optimization technique for improving query performance and data processing efficiency, particularly in scenarios involving large datasets and frequent data retrievals or joins. I trust you found this video helpful. Thank you.